Hello, so nice to meet you. My name is Mr. Ben, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to play Lug guitar. Now, to get songs sounding like what I showed you there, I need to press down the strings with my left hand. Now this, a um, lot of people have some trouble with this at first, but I'm gonna help you to not have too much trouble with this by showing you a couple of little tips. So can you imagine that you're trying to squish a grape between your fingers there, or any little small squishy thing, right? We would want to have our fingers curved into a sort of a circle shape so that we can be really strong with our finger muscles and press together. That's a lot like what pressing down our strings on the lug is gonna be like. So if I'm really gentle, I'm not gonna have a very good sound. Like if I'm trying to press down a string, it's gonna sound like this. Did you hear that? Do you know how I made that sound? I just very gently touched the strings with my finger, but I'm not pressing, I'm just touching so gently. And then what happens, I don't get any sound, right? Whenever something is touching the strings, it's going to make the strings not make a lot of sound. But sometimes, like now, I'm trying to help you get some good sounds so that we can do stuff like this. Something like that. So to get sound, we have to press pretty hard. Now, depending on your guitar and depending on how old you are, um, you might have trouble here unless you do what I'm gonna show you here. So we've got that circle shape. Now I'll go up close so that you can see what it's like to press down here. Now I wanna use the very tip of my finger here. If you can imagine a little dot on the tip of my finger, that's the part that I wanna use. And at first, we're gonna press down our first string, the one closest to the floor, on what we call the third fret. Here's how we find the third fret. We count from here, one, two, Three. And your Lug guitar should have a dot here on the third fret and also one on the side, which makes it easier to see. Now, a lot of the times when people try to play guitar, they sit it on their lap and they try to play like this. Uh, you can do that for a little bit, but it's not nearly as good. So we want to try to hold it like this if we can. So we're going to press right here. So what string is this? First string. And what fret is it? One, two, three. Now, I'm not using my finger flat like this. My finger's not bending this way, it's curved. And I know it's a lot of details, but I'm showing you this because I really want you to be able to get this right away. Uh, one more little thing, we also find that it's a bit easier to press over here instead of over here. So now that's a lot of talking just to be able to do this. But I think those things are gonna help you. So give that a try. You can pause the video, you can uh, just work with your guitar and practice getting a good sound like that. And we know we're doing it right if we can play each string one at a time. So that's good. Now here's what it sounds like if we're not pressing hard enough. Not so nice, right? Yeah. Now to squeeze extra hard, the last thing I'll say here, you might want to put your thumb on the back of this part of the guitar. This is called the neck. That's going to help you squeeze. Some people also do this though. So you're sort of squeezing into your palm. Uh, if you and me were talking like together, like I would help you figure out which one, but just try them both. So there you go. That's our first, well, I guess it's our second chord because we already learned E minor. Easiest chord in the world. G, uh, this is called G, is this one. So now, if you can play both of those, which I think you probably can by now, you can start to make songs and you can play songs and you can have a lot of fun with those two chords. A chord is the word that we use for whenever we press somewhere, usually press, and we strum all of our strings that we have. There's another thing called a melody, which we'll learn about in another video. Uh, so first is chords. So let's make a song using G and E minor. We'll make up our own song. What if we do four G's and right away we do four E minors? Right, you can do whatever you want with this hand, you don't need it, you know. So let's go. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. Now I'm playing a little bit fast, you don't have to play that fast yet. 
I just wanted you to know what it would sound like. So this would be a good time to practice that. See if you can play four Gs and four E minors. And I'll keep doing a few more things here. I'll, I'll show you a couple more things that we can do with chords and it's gonna start getting more advanced as we go along. So if this was easy for you so far, don't worry, it'll get a little bit harder. And if this was too hard for you so far and you still need to go back and work on these things, stop the video. It'll be here forever, I hope. So you can uh, come back later and go further after you've gotten the hang of just pressing down your strings. All right, I'm a little thirstier. Give me a second. So I plan to teach you four chords today. So you'll know four brand new chords on the Lug guitar. Now I chose these because they're the easiest ones to learn first. Now there's chords like this. Um, my fingers are sort of zigzagging around. They're pressing all kinds of different spots. There's chords like this. I'm not going to try to teach you that today. That takes a bit of practice. That took me a bit of practice. But we're going to learn one finger chords. So we already know two. G, E minor. And our next one is beautiful. It's a really nice chord. It's called C. I'll go to my other camera so that we can learn that one here. Okay, so we're going to press down our second string on the first fret. And even before I show you that, see if you can figure out what I'm asking you to do there. So which is the second string? One, two, so we're on this string. And then the first fret, that's going to be right here. And again, if we're pressing over here, it's going to be pretty difficult. But if we're closer to this wire, we'll have an easier time. Now let's hear what this one should sound like. C. By the way, I'm strumming over here so that you can see my hand, but usually I would strum closer to here. But you can really strum wherever is comfortable for you. So, give this one a try here. Now this one takes a bit more practice. Now why is it harder? Well, we have to be able to not touch our first string. We need to make a bridge with our finger here. That's why it's not so good to use this part of our finger, because we're going to accidentally touch this one. And if it sounds correct, it's gonna be like this. And it's okay if it doesn't sound like that yet. If it sounds like this, do you remember how we get a string to not make a sound? We touch it gently, so in that case, this finger was gently touching that string. I wasn't trying to do that though. So we gotta go more like this. Keep the thumb back there, and you're gonna be able to get it. Now, if you know a G and a C, and an E minor, look out world, because you can play like a lot of songs like that. <laughs> so uh, for example, uh, we could even play a song with only a C. We could go, mm, row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Let's try that again together here so that you can strum along. Now, if you like like older kids' songs and you like rock and roll, we'll do something like that too in a minute. But these songs are great to start with. So let's play together. We'll get our C chord, second string, first fret. One, two, here we go. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is born. down up. All I'm doing there is just going down and up really fast. But I've had practice, so you won't sound like that yet. But you will if you keep watching my videos and you keep playing. Nice job. So if you kept up with that, you learned this all in one day. That's amazing. You're, you're off to a really good start. Uh, stay tuned. Click subscribe so that you'll see when my next video about melodies comes out. And there's plenty of other things that you can go back and learn about guitar, ukulele, and lug guitar. We'll see you next time.